We have here in the studio with us today the CFO, Antti Aho from Talenom. Welcome. Thank you very much. Let's start by asking, what is, um, what is Talenom? Um, Talenom is a 46 years old accounting company, so experienced, old, but I'd like to say still a very modern accounting company. What is it uh, uh, Talenom does? Um, we are in accounting business, so we serve uh, small and medium-sized enterprises who don't have their own financial departments. Uh, we provide them accounting services, uh, payroll services and, and the related consultation services. And uh, Maybe if a, a few words of our strategy, in, in we like to put it in three points. Um, First, uh, we want to make the entrepreneur's life as easy as possible. They usually don't like that much about handling with receipts and, and papers and, and all this administration. Uh, and, and we provide them uh, very easy solutions to digitalize their uh, processes so they can supply all accounting material to us through our online systems and applications. Uh, and after this uh, first phase where we have made the entrepreneur's life easy, we want to make the accountant's life very easy too, uh, which means that we automize uh, the accounting process. And now, now it's easy and it's possible when we have first uh, digitalized uh, uh, accounting material. And when we have automized it, this of course brings uh, lots of efficiency and time savings to all of us. Uh, and then uh, to save time, we can spend on consultation, uh, providing value-added services to our customers. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit about your size uh, and, and where you're operating? Um, yeah, um, this is a Finnish company. Or, uh, we have uh, recently expanded to Stockholm uh, this, this year. Uh, but most of our operations, some 700 people are still working in Finland. Uh, all over Finland in, in all the bigger cities and also growing to smaller towns as well. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how would you describe the uh, bookkeeping market and, and, and what are the trends that you see there? Um, well, the technology we already mentioned that definitely is shaping the market right now very fast. This is, uh, this business is uh, much about uh, handling of data and earlier that, that data used to be on paper but now when it's digitalized uh, we can use the technology to uh, handle this data and so this is really really uh, uh, making a big change in the market uh, and this uh, technology has also led to another uh, uh, trend in the market which is consolidation uh, uh, the market uh, is, uh, has traditionally been divided into a very, very small units. A typical accounting office employs one to five people. And, um, and um, now we can see that this, um, uh, this technology requires, of course, investments uh, and, and the smaller units do not necessarily have the re uh, resources and, and we can see consolidation going on I I all, in the all over in the Nordic market. Mm -hmm. You mentioned technology uh, as being one uh, trend and also a uh, competitive factor for you. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about, about what the technology means for Talenom and, and what are the other competitive advantages that you see? Yeah, yeah. technology is very, very crucial to Talenom. Uh, some 16 years ago when I came, came to this business and to Talenom, we were already uh, 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 facing the, the future, we were, uh, th the bigger companies already had adopted uh, electronic systems for handling their accounting material and we were kind of uh, looking around and seeing that how could we help SMEs uh, to do the same thing and, and when we realized that there are no uh, uh, ready-made solutions for SME companies, uh, we started our own software development uh, unit uh, and um, started providing software to uh, uh, SME companies and, and um, uh, yes, I think uh, well, we are almost the only company in the world that has both the service and uh, the technology. So there are normally there are accounting offices and then there are tech companies, but we have the both. Uh, and this uh, feel is very important to us because 
in accounting, uh, it's not only about software, it's also about service and about people. So we can, when we have the, those both, we can, um, uh, we have full control of how to improve the software. Uh, and we have all the data uh, in our hands, which we can use to provide value-added services in future uh, to, to our customers uh, when we start adapting uh, AI and, and, um, and um, go into uh, big data and stuff like that. So we feel that it's a very, very crucial competitive advantage to Talent. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned the uh, value-added services. Could you tell us a little bit more about, about mm. that? Okay, uh, so first we probably have to start from the consultation. Uh, uh, we have always been into consultation uh, uh, aside with these uh, legal services, uh, but uh, now when the technology is uh, saving time uh, and also it's changing the role of an accountant from a routine worker to a more a consultative role, so um, we want and our customers want us to spend much more time on consultation than just doing the legal stuff. So, so that's of course a value added service. But then uh, the other uh, services come uh, from uh, using the, our online system and, and the technology that we have. Uh, one uh, which we have started uh, 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 quite recently is the financing services to our services. They can easily uh, get finance from um, through our online systems for example they can sell their invoices to get the money money uh, to uh, pay their bills right before uh, the holiday season when there is less money coming in and all these practical solutions we can provide uh, easily through our online system compared to old uh, solutions that the customers have had you have a very impressive history uh, like you mentioned previously you've been growing at around 15% per year, your, your profitability is good and it's actually been improving. Could you tell us a little bit about what, what, what's behind this and, and, and how do you see uh, this kind of performance continuing uh, in the future? Um, our growth is mostly based on organic growth. So we have our own sales organization, which is not very useful in this business. Uh, uh, so most of our growth comes from our old, own salespeople. Uh, we have also made some minor acquisitions uh, every now and then, and that's also okay when, when, when we find uh, good targets. Um, uh, our market share in Finland is five to six percent, uh, which is which is not that much, and we don't see any reason why it could not be more in, in future. So so we, we are looking forward uh, keeping up the growth. Um, then uh, uh, what comes to um, uh, profitability, uh, we have done a lot uh, in the field of automation already, but we still see that there's much we can do in future to enhance our production line. Uh, about internationalization, we just started uh, our first office in, in, in Stockholm or ac actually acquired one, one there and um, after having studied Swedish market and other Nordic markets, European markets as well, uh, we have a strong feeling that we can take our share of the market uh, in other countries as well. Of course, we are at the startup phase, so not much to comment more about that, but we look optimistic to the future. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.